Hey guys, Doug here with Motion Raceworks. We're back for another Tech Tip Tuesday. And today we are talking about frost plugs, freeze plugs, casting plugs, whatever you wanna call these on an LS engine. We uh, have been around several years and one of the things that we notice every year is there's a certain amount of people who with a nitrous or boosted application will actually push these out. And behind these, they're actually casting plugs from the factory, but behind them, they there's coolant and so when they get pushed out there's coolant everywhere of course that's really dangerous when you're drag racing if you're on the dyno or you're you know just doing a burnout or whatever it's not nearly as bad but when anytime there's water or coolant that gets on your tires at any speed uh, you have a real potential for injury wreck ruining your whole project and everything in between like i said we see a lot of controversy a lot of arguments people are like oh well it's only because you're a bad tuner I'm here to tell you, I've seen the tunes. I know the people are tuning these vehicles. It is not because of anybody's a bad tuner or a good tuner or too much boost or anything of that nature. Now let's break into some facts. Aftermarket LS heads do not have these. So one of the conversations that I see talked about are people saying, well, if you're pushing those out, you have other problems. No, not necessarily. Factory heads don't have them or aftermarket heads don't have them. Factory heads do have them. And the reason why uh, they can be an issue is heat of the cylinder head. Basically, anytime you add nitrous or boost, you're creating conditions that it wasn't designed for originally. And with two dissimilar metals, you have an aluminum head and a, and a uh, steel plug in there, you have an opportunity to have things heat up and distort. And uh, of course, they'll come right out. And it's happened. Uh, when we first introduced the product I'm about to show you, people told us we were crazy, not needed, whatever. Um, but then this year, lots of people started pushing these out. And uh, I think every year it seems like the industry is pushing these vehicles harder. So I'll introduce the product next and I'll show you how we came up with a solution. So holding these into your engine can be accomplished in a number of ways. If you have the, the heads off of your car, have somebody weld them shut. You can also have a drill and tap them for a huge pipe plug. That's also an option. If your heads are on the vehicle, like I would assume a lot of yours are, um, or you don't want to pull them off and have to pay for new gaskets and all of that business. We developed these billet uh, block plugs. So I'll go ahead and open these and show you how they work. So like I said, this isn't your only option. You can definitely make this at home. We came up with the idea, but I would just love to see you guys be safe. So definitely consider this if you're using factory heads, whether you weld them in, make your own version of this, buy ours, pipe plug, whatever. Um, I think it's just a good option to find a way to keep these in so you keep the water off your tires. But anyways, we designed these and uh, basically it sits inside of the freeze plug, casting plug, whatever you want to call it, and uh, sits at the bottom, sits on the sides and locates it. And then it bolts to one of the nearest head bolts that are used for accessories. We have one that comes for all four corners in the package. So it's a four pack and uh, I think they're about 70 bucks and they come with hardware and everything, so it makes it really easy. So basically, it's as simple as taking this, bolting it here. You're just gonna crank that down, and it basically pushes the plug in there so that it cannot move, not come out, not ro rock in there, rotate, have issues, and uh, it's really that simple. So another uh, conversation or argument that I hear people say is, well, if you don't push them out here, you're gonna blow your radi radiator up. That's inaccurate. Your radiator actually is built to relieve pressure over a certain poundage. That's why on top of the uh, radiator caps, you actually see a rating. And on a boosted car, you usually increase them. So if for some reason it was because of a pressure spike and not as a result of distortion and heat, that would take care of it on its own. So if you gain a bunch of pressure in your cooling system, it's gonna open that cap let it out into the coolant overflow reservoir, and that's how that's all designed to work. So that's not really a concern. Now a radiator can fail, and they do on boosted cars, especially uh, a lot of ones with plastic tanks, but that's a whole conversation for a whole nother day. So like I said, after a year of making these, I've seen guys that didn't have them push them out on a very regular basis. There's videos all over the internet of people. You'll see the water dump, the car goes sideways and into the wall, hopefully they save them. Some of them they do, some of them they don't but I can tell you what, we get the call the next week. Or somebody says, I wish I would have had those. Again, I would rather see you weld it, do it, come up with your own mechanism. Just understand that there's a lot of force behind there. If you're actually pressurizing a cooling system, um, pounds per square inch on that plug can be incredible. So make sure you're overbuilding it in a way that it's gonna sustain and hold in there. 
it isn't just as easy as putting a real thin strap over the top of it because it will break or blow that out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope this was beneficial and un now you understand what those are, why they, they need to be addressed in a boosted application or a high horsepower application, and hopefully it'll prevent you from uh, having a similar issue. Thanks for tuning in.